What's going on guys, Adam here with 80 Proof Goods. Uh, I wanted to take an opportunity to film a video of me making a desk mat from start to finish uh, because I don't think I've done that in a while. You may have seen some shorts here and there, but they're under 60 seconds. So here you get a couple of minutes start to finish of the entire process of making one of my large desk mats. This is gonna be 16 inches by 40 inches for the larger desk guys. It's made of black harvest uh, full grain pull-up leather and I'm pairing it with a dark brown stitching, uh, which is a customer design, a customer request. So if you don't know by now, you can design your own product on my site. It's uh, you pick your leather color, you pick your stitching color. There's optional free laser engraving if you want a logo or a name, initials, what have you. I've had people go as far as getting um, a three leaf clover uh, engraved. I've gotten company logos. I've done phrases. I've even done uh, the bad motherfucker wallet from Pulp Fiction. I could do whatever. So just keep that in mind. Anyway. This customer picked out a Black Harvest desk mat, which I absolutely love. Uh, black is definitely the most common desk mat that I make here, and obviously it just goes with so many more um, you know, color schemes that you may have at your desk or in your office. Um, and then you can kind of either add a pop of color or pop of contrast with the stitching, or you can go with something a little bit more min minimalist, and in this case, that's kind of what we're doing with the dark brown. And if you don't think dark brown and black go together, I don't know what you're smoking, because I think it looks awesome. So stick around to the end, and you'll see what that looks like. Uh, with that said, the Black Harvest here has, it's a pull-up leather, so if you're not familiar with pull-up leathers, basically it has waxes and oils in the materials, uh, which when it creases and moves around, it leaves sort of lighter streaks in the leather, and it, that's why you get the pull-up uh, name, so it looks, you know, when you pull up on the leather, it, it leaves those cool light streaks in it, and it gives it a lot of character. It's kind of a, a rustic look. Uh, from a new leather, so it's super durable, uh, and it looks like it's aged a lot, uh, but it also keeps its its appearance over time. So if you check out some of the other leathers that I use, like the Minerva series, they develop a nice, deep, rich patina, whereas this leather will patina, and it'll definitely look worn and used, uh, but it'll keep its, its color and its profile over time. So uh, some of the benefits there. Also, because of the waxy top and oil layer, um, it's a little bit more water resistant. So it, it, using it as a desk mat is great because you know how many of us spill a coffee cup or you put down your water and the condensation drips down the glass and it wets the, the table. So you don't have to worry about the leather uh, getting damaged or ruined. That waxy top is gonna give you some water resistance, water, I don't wanna say waterproof, but it is more water resistant. So it's easier to clean up. Also because it's wax, when it scratches, uh, you can buff it out 99% of the time. The wax, it, it just, you know, when you add friction, it kind of, I don't want to say it melts, but the friction helps hide scratches. So it's a little bit self-healing uh, when you add just some friction. And I've just used my thumb. You know, my desk mat's scratched up uh, from, you know, I've been using it for about, you know, eight months now, I suppose. And, you know, when I get a couple of scratches or dings, I just kind of rub it in with my finger, the, the side of my thumb, and it goes away. So there you have it, the Black Harvest desk mat in the large, uh, that's 16 inches uh, tall by 40 inches wide, so it covers a really wide area. You can fit an iPad stand, your laptop, your mouse, what have you. So if you like it, drop a comment, repost, save, subscribe, goes a long way.